So many of you know that I bought myself a Steam Deck, uh, which is which is right here, and uh, because of that, I've been looking at ways of updating it and upgrading it and doing some mods to it and kind of turning it into the hand handheld console that I actually wanted. Now, this video really isn't necessarily about that, but for me to do some of the mods that I needed, I needed to be able to install some uh, operating systems onto a USB stick so that I could transfer them, et cetera, et cetera. So I had to go online to buy USB sticks. And I came across this one here, uh, Eurasy, Eurasy. It's kind of like piracy, mm -hmm. you know, spoiler. <laughs> Uh, USB flash drive, one terabyte, one terabyte USB flash drive, USB three, it says portable mini USB, a uh, thousand gigabytes, high speed USB stick. Now it's got three stars. Now I'm pretty sure it had more than three stars when I bought it. Okay. Uh, metal tump, tump drive, probably supposed to be thumb drive, large data. Okay. Very cool, and uh, I don't even know, right? Currently unavailable. And I think it's probably currently unavailable because my guess is it's a scam. So you can look at here. This is my order details, right? I ordered a bunch of stuff, but $24 is what I spent on this. You can see it right here, right? $23.99. Now I bought a whole bunch of other stuff at the same time, but, uh, this this has got me and this made me go online afterwards because when I when I bought this uh, and it probably won't show it here but um one of my apps showed that you know it had done like a I don't know like a 90% price decrease and I was like oh so it was expensive before maybe they're just you know getting rid of their stock or whatever just blowing them out for whatever they can get anyways uh, I don't think that's the case because again I went online to see oh, maybe what other people were saying and nobody had talked about this Eurasy but there are a lot of USB sticks that are claiming like a terabyte or two terabytes that are you know twenty twenty five dollars thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars and uh, they're not that so we're gonna take a look at this because this this is it this is it right here this is what it came in and you guys can see it right Eurasy USB flash drive one terabyte um, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, so let's let's open it. I have a feeling this is going right back to Amazon. Now, the other thing to kind of be aware of is like, if you are buying one of these, uh, I made sure when I bought it, it this was one that was like um, sold or, 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 you know, shipped via Amazon. It wasn't like shipped from some, you know, Chinese reseller or something like that because I, I wanted to make sure that if something was wrong that I could return it um, now that is that is really tiny so you get it looks like it's in two pieces that that's it right as far as like the USB sticks it's nice look it, it, it's super small you know and it does come with a little keychain thing so that's that's great um, and it's got like the blue so you think because it's got the blue that it's it's USB three. So I'm going to stick it into this, and this is this is a USB C adapter because of course I'm on a Mac, and that's the only way that I can get this to even function. So number one, let's plug it in and see what even even comes up here. That's not what I want. That's USB to to lightning. I don't want USB to lightning. I want there it is USB to USB C to USB A. Very good. I think am I do it yeah there you go boom okay we're in we're in we're in Let's see if it shows up so we have it up here untitled yes and if we get info on it it comes up and says 1.05 terabytes and you're like voila 1.05 terabytes so here's here's the kicker because that's probably where most of us would stop we'd be like it shows one one terabyte so we're good yes and you'd be like, I think you're, you're you'd feel right. So first off, because it's high, it's high speed, you know, we're gonna go first to Black Magic here and do a speed test on this. So select this. This is the Untitled Drive over here. Open. Okay. Start. Ready? Ooh man, that is fast. Seven. Seven. 
Seven megabytes per second. Right. That's going to take like four years for me to do the test on that. So that's unfortunate. That's that's not fast by any means, and that's that's the right. So um, here is the question. Here is the question. Now I am going to do this. Ready? We're going to stop that because right off the bat, this is this is not high speed, and and that may be the other thing that people that have rated it good. They're just like, uh, you know, it's. It's slow, but that's fine. I don't I don't need it to be fast, right? I don't need it to be that. And that and that's fair. Um but because you're like maybe I just I just need it for for storage, right? So, let's do this because my network is faster than what this can even write anyway. So, if I do this and I'm going to do ready screen share because I think I can do this. This is the magic the magic of the Mac. So I've got a couple uh, videos over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six. Let's do a bunch. Let's do that many. Okay, that many videos. And I'm going to take this. Whoops. Try that again. That many, that many videos over here. And I'm going to drag them here to the stick. And in theory, this should uh, copy over. That's the theory, right? And you can see these are writing. And if we open this drive up here, right, you can see that we're, we're getting we're getting something. Things are happening. File transfers. It's not moving fast by any means, but uh, we're going to let this run. My guess is it's going to have to run for a couple hours. So number one, uh, if I have to install anything on here that's going to be like 50, 60 gigs or even even 10 or 15 gigs, this is going to take a lot of time. So anyways, we're going to move these files over and then we're going to see what happens when we actually try to run them. Okay, so uh, we're going to we're going to stop this because I'm pretty sure this is going to take 17 years because uh, it's supposedly moved over one file, and I don't even know how long it's been. But it's it's taken four. It's only 66 megs, so I'm not pleased with that. So we're going to stop that uh, first off, uh, just because of the, the just the speed in itself. This is a this is a a no a no sir, no sir, ma'am, sir, right. So now we're going to take it out. Anyways, I'm going to close this. And we are going to bring over my Windows computer. And I'll just tip this. So you, you guys may, may be able to see this. You may not be able to see this. Anyway, this is a program called H2 Test W. I just did a search. And it's a program that allows you to test and verify size of like external USB sticks, SD cards, etc., etc. So basically, we are going to stick this in here. Okay. It says there's a problem with this. Scan and fix. Okay. Okay, good. Skip. We'll just scan for threats because we just want to make sure there's nothing up with this drive. Okay. All good. And okay, we're going to close all this stuff here just to make sure we don't have anything extra running that we don't need. Select the drive. So this is that USB drive here. It even says there 975 gigs. Now it's funny, this one says 975. The other one said over a terabyte. So it's funny that depending on which uh, drive that you, machine you put it in, you got different different uh, results. I also wanna see, so it's it says it's XFAT. U space 782 megs, which is funny because I definitely did not move 782 megs to this. It moved 62, so I'm a little concerned with that. Um, anyways, so we're going to select that, hit OK. And this program, what it does is it uh, writes data to all the areas of the drive, and then it tries to read them back to verify how much space is there. So. Uh, all available space. Yep. Write and verify. Yep. Okay. And it's going to be erased and off it goes.
So this process can definitely take a little bit of time for sure, because it does have to write them and read them and write them and read them. So it has to write a terabyte worth of files to this. So this could take, I don't know, six weeks. Anyways, we will be back and you can see writing speed right now. It's nine megabytes per second. So not very fast. All right, we'll be back when it's done to figure out uh, what this what this says. All right, my friends, so uh, a little bit of a change change of plans. Uh, we had tried using that program to write and verify files, but after about two days, uh, it crashed. It just crashed on me. Uh, it hadn't even written a quarter of the drive yet. Uh, it, it had started off saying it was going to be about 60 hours, and uh, yeah, two days later and it failed. So uh, we went and tried something different because... I did some research online and there was a few people that kind of said how uh, to kind of simply verify if the drive is legit or not. So basically what you do is you take a fairly large amount of files and files that you can run. So let's say video files. So I, of course, have a ton of video files. And because of that, uh, I took about 20 25 gigs worth of video files and i copied them to the usb stick now this was not a fast process and even that amount probably took six maybe eight hours it, that's just ridiculously slow after that i took a, a game that was sitting on one of my external drives that was 128 gigs so i took four forts of five and copied that whole folder to that USB stick again. This should give me lots of space, about 60 gigs and 120 gigs. So put me in and around, you know, 180 to 200 gigs, but I got a thousand gigs, so we're good. So this is where you kind of watch. After I had moved that initial 60 gigs worth of video files, video files, I clicked and verified that each functioned and they did. They played with a bit of stutter, of course, because it just can't move files very fast. But uh, I watched that large file start to copy that 130 gigs, 128 gigs, I think it was to be precise. And it started, it was going not fast, you know, five megabytes, megabits, megabytes, uh, got upwards of seven, eight, nine. Um, but all of a sudden you'd see it drop and it would drop so much it would actually drop all the way down to zero and sit at zero sometimes 10 seconds to 30 seconds and then come up a little bit right a bit and then drop back down again so I went back and looked at the USB stick and I went back and looked at those video files that I copied and I tried to play the first one or two of them and they played I was like okay I got to maybe the third or fourth one and I got an error message right where it just said the, the file is corrupt there's no data here it's it's empty even though it was showing that the file was like two point something gigs in size i was like okay uh tried the next one same thing nothing went back to the first one still worked i was like okay uh, that's weird went and started watching again the file transfer and when it dropped down again to you know ridiculously slow and getting down to around you know copying zero I went back one more time and the first two files that did play now didn't. So what is happening is it's almost like a dash cam where it writes all the files and then once it fills up, it comes back and it starts overwriting again. But it overwrites in a way that it doesn't tell the drive or it doesn't let the computer know that those files are being written over. So as far as it knows, it has them still. And the file size is there, the file name is there, everything is there. But when you go to actually open them, they fail. So um, that's something to really be aware of because it, it, it is a big trick, right? It shows everywhere on the computer shows that this is a terabyte drive. The computer will write it as if it's a terabyte drive. It's as slow as sin, but it, it's not necessarily false in that aspect even though it does say it's a high speed drive which it is not it is like usb one speed so it is something you need to be aware of if you are looking for a usb stick and you find a terabyte you find 
uh, two terabyte and they are priced too good to be true especially if they're not being sold by a brand like an actual brand store because you can buy a sand sand disk let's say a uh, USB stick and if you're not buying it from sand disk or like Sandisk's Amazon store, you really have no idea what you're getting. Uh, and this, even though it was a weird brand, uh, I, I should have known better. But I kind of wanted to do a test so I could make this video for you guys so that you could uh, see. Um, you can't, you can't, you can't get a terabyte drive for for thirty dollars. Not a USB stick. No, um, you're looking at. A couple hundred dollars for sure all right guys uh if you have bought in any of these or are thinking about it you know we bought a specific brand but it's there's so many brands out there all doing the same thing and if you're not aware or you're not paying attention and you just kind of pop it in and look at properties it could fool you and then all of a sudden it's two months down the road your return window has gone they've got your money and you got a stick that's pretty much useless all right, guys, make sure you watch uh, for these kind of scams because they're out there. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And I'm not going to leave links to this product because you shouldn't get it. Oh, no. All right, my friends, I'm out. Later.